What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. More specifically, welcome to my laundry room. My wife is out of state for her birthday this weekend and I'm going to redo the floor. We had the house redone after it flooded from Ida with this flooring here. It's a vinyl plank and I'm going to do the same in here. These tiles are starting to pop up. They're grimy. They're uh, gross. So let's do that. First step I got to do is get everything out of here. Going to clear out the pantry, stuff off the wall. Going to take the sink out, washer dryer, the pedestals, dog bed. So stick around. We're going to have some fun.
started tearing up these tiles and I wanted to show you there's a way to tell if they've uh, not uh, set properly or adhered when you uh, when they were put down. So like this one here, see how it sounded kind of sounds solid? Now listen to this one. Hear that sounds hollow? You hear that one, how it kind of sounds hollow? That one might not be too bad, but listen to that. So you can tell the difference. So that's a good way to tell uh, if your tiles are popping up or they weren't set properly. So uh, something to look out for if you are doing this or you're having a home inspected and they uh, offer to uh, check the tiles for you. I got my hearing and my face and my gloves and I took my dog over to my in-laws and if some of you might have been worried about the uh, my dog getting in here with the sharp chips so he's over at the in-laws so I can do this and besides the uh, power tool will give him a scare anyway so now I've never used one of these so let's uh, let's see how this goes
Okay, here comes my dog. Okay, here's the story. I poured the first bucket of self-leveling concrete on the ground and it wasn't enough. So I rushed to pour the second, to mix the second bucket and it had clumps in it. So when I poured it, it created an uneven mess. So at some point my camera died. So I just decided I would take my time and I went and bought two more bags of the self-leveling compound and I mixed both at the same time and poured it over the previous, uh, the previous unlevel. And it still wasn't perfectly level. As you can see behind me, there's patching. So I did some patching. So, and then after that, it still wasn't as level as I like. So I actually took a belt sander and I belt sanded a lot of the area to smooth it out. I think it's as level as I'm going to get it. I'm happy with it. The wife is happy with it. Oh, and by the way, this was supposed to be done over her birthday weekend while she was out of town, but now she's back. And so now I have to finish it. It's a week later. So now we're ready to lay the tile down and get this laundry room finished so we can have clean clothes. So let's do that. All right, my laundry room is exactly 147 inches from end to end. And my vinyl planks are exactly seven inches across. So that's 21 rows from end to end in the laundry room. So I drew a line here. So I get my first uh, line of tiles straight. And by the time I get to the other end down there, you can see all the patches that I did. I shouldn't have a half a tile or a part of a tile. It should just lay perfectly uh, there by the uh, drywall. So I'm going to set my camera up, get my glue, and get started.
about 24 hours. Glue is set up. I'm going to remove all the blue tape and take care of all the squeeze out. I had a lot of squeeze out. This is my first time gluing down floors. So, yep. So let's do that. So I removed the tape and I started to clean here, but I'm running out of underwear and the wife wants to do laundry. So I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to focus on cleaning the area where the washer and dryer and sink goes so that we can get that area finished. And then once we get that stuff back in, then I can do the rest of the floor here. So that's what I'm going to do next.
have the baseboard and the baseboard there done. So that's how I did it, guys. There's a lot of things I would have done differently, but I'm glad I got it done. I still got to, I still have to uh, clean the rest of the adhesive off the floor and do the rest of the uh, baseboards. But uh, I'm not going to bore you with that. I'll just show you when I'm done uh, off camera. So. Thanks for watching. Hope you had some laughs. And I'll see you on the next one.